Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to Assassin's Creed Valhalla. What do we have here? Tombs of the Fallen. Ooh. Around England and across the rivers from Ravensthorpe, strange markings have appeared on certain stones. Could boulders that seem solid be mere illusions, hiding the secrets of the ancients? Explore the cavernous Brit yeah, Britain tombs and discover mystery armor in the tombs of the fallen. Speak with the onlookers at the settlement dock to get started. Ooh, that sounds awesome. That sounds really awesome. Now I'm uh, wondering if I should like continue the mission here or um do this. Ooh, toughy. Okay. Um. Well. We already had to head that direction. Did I see, like, shinies anywhere in front of me? Yes, I did. Okay. I think I'll do the mission first. And then, um, for, like, you know, like a filler sort of fun tactic, I will do all, um, the Fallen Tomb stuff. Um, horse, horse, horse. Okay. We're, we'll get back here. Alright. Let's go. Okay, reaches are such a pull. Good, good. Should just be across here. <laughs> awesome. I like this. I like this little the, this little one a lot. On my off days of recording, um, I was playing a lot of um, Odyssey and. <laughs> <laughs> Try to cross the river and then you fall off the horse. I kind of forgot about that. So. Here we go. Hello, guys. Eivor, we await your orders. You brought your weapons and armor? Hi, Raven Tamer. Good. Now we dig in and wait for, for our friends. Well met, old friend. When the chance arrived to lodge an axe in the sod of Wessex, you thought of me. Such an honor. Is everything else in place, Eivor? Are we ready to take Rusus then? Yeah. Rally our army. We will drag this mouse from his hole. Here we go. Whoa. I climb. Yes, here we go. Come on. Did you get up there? Up oh, keyboard. Alright, fine. See that way. Take you 
out. And let's take you out. Alright, there we go. I'm in. I am down. Here we go. Give me this. Oh, you're probably right. Go away, go away. Okay. Ooh, ah, e. Oh. Go away. All of you. Oh, good on you. Hold on. This guy is... Hold on! Get me over here, get me over here, get me over here! Inside! 
Fight! Okay. Then we must look higher up for a way in sight. Hold on. Doing good. Doing grand. Mm, I feel great. That's great. Uh, right now. Yeah. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Bye bye. We're just gonna make up our way to the tower. Oh. Run. Can you die for me, please? Thank you. Across the battlements. We're not here for stone and sand, Thane Titment. I shit on you! You and your toy gods! I will not bow to you like some puppet's lord! I would rather die! How much will your king pay us to keep your sniveling head upon your neck? An army marches upon us from the south. A holy man from St. Hadrian's Priory, backed by a field. Ah, then, Abbot Kinnebert? God be praised! If riches are all you care about, the church has it in abundance. If the terms are fair, you'll have your freedom. A chest or two of silver for a shit-stained sewer rat. Stay quiet, or I'll not be able to stop my friend from slitting your throat. Ah! Watch yourself, heathen. You handle me too roughly. Die for the indignities you've showered upon me, Dane! That's I mean like... no offense, Thane. You're only a hefty ransom to me, nothing more. This is why you batter down my gates, kill my men for a purse of grubby coin? Sure. You have no honor. Enough, or I'll return you to the city. Sickness. And what do you offer us in return? Your lives? We lost many good men storming this keep. It will not be in vain, Christ's slave. Twenty chests of silver. Give them all they ask, Kinnebert. A hefty sum that will leave God's coffers hollow. I cannot give it up without some assurance. Tedmund. 
you extort me in return for my life? You were swiftly met, Abbot. Not long after these... these scallious worms took my fort. On the Lord's bidding, Tedmund. At prayer, a terrible vision befell me. A host of heathens, your life in danger. A coincidence I find rather... <coughs> rather ominous, Abbot. Do you... <coughs> God help you, man. Are you well? <laughs> Doesn't look like it. Air. I need... I need air! <sighs> He's dead. The work of poison, no doubt. No, 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 no. Rouse the man. He cannot be dead. He must not be dead. Poison? How does the man die of poison in our arms? Many great kings and paranoids have carried poison in times of war as an alternative to capture and ransom. A catastrophe. Alfred will choose another and... By the saints! Alfred! How will I explain this to the king? We followed this road to its end, Cunibert. You may not like where it led, but you owe us our half of the bargain. You shall have your paladin. I need a day. Return to my abbey tomorrow, and you shall... Oh, dear, oh dear. These delays are grinding at my bones. We should abandon Cunibert, find Fulke ourselves. Peace, Eivor. Speak with Giedrich and relieve him of his oath. I'll meet you at Cunibert's abbey. You fought like beasts escaped from your hell today, Giedrich. Your oath to me is fulfilled. It was good to stand shoulder to shoulder with you against the pox dogs of Wessex. May our friendship endure. This tangled briar of Christians and lords means nothing to me. I'm here for Sigurd. I understand. When you find him again, come see me. We'll feast and sing with mead and friendship to warm us. Agreed. Sounds lovely. Okay. Okay, looks like we'll uh, head back. And we level up. Bingo! Alright, let's go. There you are. Too quiet here. Where are the brothers or the abbot's men? That's true. Yo, dude. I would say well met, brother, but I cannot shake off the needle itch of dread. Is something wrong? I followed the abbot here, kept him in my sight. But the monks, his servants, I have seen nothing of them. Dead? I do not think so. But there is no good here in this grave hush. And where is the abbot now? In his quarters. Come, and be on your guard. Does this have the stench of betrayal to you, brother? Why would the godly shepherd ally with the heretic? Kinnebed is a man who craves power and position. With Tedman dead, he must find it somewhere else. There is truth in that. Keep your eyes and blade sharp. I don't like this. I don't like this. Of course it's you. Cunnabert, your guests have arrived. Come, 
supper's ready. The dear abbot sent me a warm invitation, said my friends were eager to meet with me. It's early for supper, I know. But Kinnebert's L goes so well with roasted lamb and cinnamon blueberry peas. I couldn't resist. Where is my brother? Is he... is he not here? Mon Dieu. I never told him. Kill her, and we'll never find Sigurd. Sit, Ava. Eat. And let me tell you the tale of a man who talks with gods. You mock me. I have killed for much less. Of course you have. Isn't that the way of this ugly world? We call the sheep and thin the flock as we see fit, you and I. Most who walk the earth are little more than talking blood bladders. Wasted flesh. But not Sigurd. Sigurd is something else. Sigurd has been touched. He is deified. The gods, they speak through him. You lured him in with that lie. Your words are bile and blight. You should have listened, Avar. I tried to tell you. The gods are real and their power is within our grasp. <laughs> you will never find him. Not till I have had my fill. To old friends. This really is delicious, Kinnebert. Is it cloves I taste? Well, that concludes supper. Kill them, and bring their bodies to my sanctum in Canterbury. They will be upon us soon. Hold Maybe on. there is another way out. There is. There's always a way through the roof. There we go. Fulke let slip that her sanctum is at Canterbury. She did. And with no cause. I'd approach the place with caution. It may be a lie. It may be, but it's the only lead we have. I hope all this innocent sacrifice is worth the trouble. It's Sigurd, my brother. Of course it is. Then come. Let us dive into the maw of death. I was never keen on seeing my winter years. This will not be for nothing, Eivor. We will find Sigurd. It's not just him. I want Fulke to suffer. She will. I'll make sure of it. land of summer, mists and forests, dreaming darkly. I see secrets, and I want to know England, all of it. And yet it rounds on us at every turn, snarling like a cornered dog. I begin to despair of ever settling here. Perhaps the stars write your path, and you will never have a home here. Do you miss the land of your birth? I have long been away, but it is fiercely beautiful beneath the vanity arrogance and pettiness of me. I should like to see it. You could if you wish. My father was an architect, a builder of wonders. The great mosque of Samara, his masterpiece. Another man who played the caliphate game better took the credit. He was exiled and died in poverty. Your faith sours. What of loyalty? Shared stories round the hearth. Warm nights, bodies, and the tender love of another. There are some who are worthy. A scant view, the tower above the solid mass. Men and women of vision and valor. 
Sigurd is one such man. He is. Trudke isn't wrong on that score. I fear for him, Basim. I cannot rest until he's free. Nor will I, my friend. All right. How long do we have? Wow, we got a long. The we practice got a long of ride. learning has waned considerably in England since the days of the Romans. What books they still have, they keep locked away in their churches, hidden from the eyes of common folk. Thralls and shells cannot read. What would be the point? They could learn. The church could teach them. So much of human history would be open to them. Aristotle, Pythagoras, Euclid, ancient knowledge lost to all but a few hard-headed men of the cloth. You have studied these works yourself. In my youth, I was consumed with a passion for understanding. I spent many hours a day in the House of Wisdom in Baghdad. A seminary. A great library, full of the greatest learning of mankind. For a boy seeking answers, it holds many riches. One day, I was sitting cross-legged, devouring a study by the great astronomer al Khwarizmi. With the swiftness belying his years, the papers were plucked from my grasp by the great man himself. His presence stole my voice. He was kind and open-hearted. He showed me such scientific wonders. And what did you learn there? Calendars and calculations. Go away. Just keep running. Okay. Calendars and calculations placing the sun, moon, and five planets. Equations that crackled and sparkled with divine intelligence. I asked the great man, Where is this? Good lord, I'm trying to listen to a story here. Okay. That's something you were saying. Equations that crackled and sparkled with divine intelligence. I asked the great man, is this what it is to know God? You saw your God's hand in the runes? I found wisdom, and I have been searching for more ever since. There is great vastness outside ourselves, Eivor. Most only notice a few grains of sand. But some, like Sigurd, I believe, see the endless flow of the hourglass. What you see in Sigurd, is this what Fulke sees as well? I believe it is. We will find no friends in Canterbury, so try not to draw attention. <gasps> Need to cloak myself here. This place reeks of the piety of priests. This land of summer, mists, and forests. We've already heard this that. This place swarms with Fulke's people. Sigurd will be well guarded. Ocean and subtlety should be our path. Ready. Follow me. Let's go. All right. Always the best way to. Demon. Go, Sunan. Since he's there. I don't know if I'm under key. Maybe I can get through there. I don't know. Hang on. Let me look. Mm, maybe. I don't know. But I think the door can be broken down. Moments. I fear he's dead. He is not. Fulke prizes him too highly. Make our way this Dead direction. Finder, keep your head. You chastise me like a child, Bassem. I guard you like a father. Nothing is served with your brutal end. You have much to do in this life. I know it. There's more riddles, sly tongue. No riddles. I sense a greatness within you both. Your destiny is not to stay in the stones of this godhouse. Is he still outside the wall? <laughs> oh, for the love of God. I like how they don't pay attention to him. <laughs> but they'll pay attention to me. <laughs> we 
go. Could I just pick you up for a moment? That crap. So we are to blunder in like a fox. Okay. Just hey, took out one. Come here! That's just to get this door open and get in. Come on. Open the door. No. Okay. Let's try this again. Give me a hand Let's with open this. the door. Camera's going wild. Here, I'll burn this Christ house to the ground. You got over there, dude. playing with the cards and let's go. Yeah, this is trivial. Hello. Have a care, Eivor. You will play into her hands. I don't care. The plans to the great fortress in Wessex. Is there something here we can use to breach it? Ooh. The Gospel of Mary Magdalene. Hmm. 
By Odin, this is a sick tapestry she wove. For every drop of his blood she spilled, I will take a meat horn more. Jesus. Details Oi. on the Order of the Ancients. Fulke ranks high among them, but it's not their head. I honestly wonder who the um, head person is. I wonder if it's like King... What's his name? Alfred. Okay. I know nothing of this gibberish. Can anyone translate that? <laughs> What does it mean, these word tangles that speak of elves and demons? A lot of things. You found anything? No? Okay. No, I'll go that way. Oh lord. It's more basement. Hate this. This isn't creepy at all. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh my god. Anything we can use! I may have! A fortress in Sussex. The order trained soldiers there. We must be sure. Secret is running out of time. Holy crap. <laughs> Anything else? Documents of interest to the hidden ones. Hytham will surely want to look. But for Sigurd, Porchester is our only lead. Hmm. If he is in Porchester Castle, we'll need a massive army to crack its walls. I have many friends in England now. If I call on them, they will come. They will. Bassem, she severed his arm clean off. Can a man survive such a loss? Physically, he can. Mentally... It's hard to say. So much stress can drive a man to despair. If you suggest he might take his own life as Tedman did, banish that idea. I must tell my people at the settlement that their Jarl remains a captive. They will not take it well. We will not fail again, Eivor. I'll scout ahead and send word to the settlement when I know more of Porchester. Be ready. Holy crap! Wow, okay, okay. Well. Oh, well, we've learned a lot. Okay. And we've leveled up. It's. What do we got for inventory? Oh, just upgrades and stuff. Nothing. Okay. So, we will do. This. And do this. Awesome. Then what's that? Oh, fire. Okay. Wow, 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 wow. Okay. This is getting interesting. Okay, so um I am going to leave this here and um 
I don't know. I think I think I'm going to look around the place, you know, uh, pillage all the goodies that I see on the map here and see what I can find. But um, you know, as always, um, thank you guys so much for um watching this episode of Valhalla. I hope that you guys are still enjoying it. I know that it's been like slow updates for this, but you know, it's um. I'm really busy during um, holidays and stuff, so I will try to get out as many episodes as possible for you guys. I hope that you guys also are enjoying your um, holidays, and as always, uh, thank you for um, all your support on the videos and stuff. It really means a lot to me. And also, don't forget to hit the like button if you guys are enjoying this even more. And also, don't forget to um, also subscribe to the channel because we have lots of fun with all the good old games that um, I have. Especially Assassin's Creed. That's going to be seen a lot on this channel. So, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next episode. See you guys then.